like anime? Do you like Japanese inspired things? Do you like clothes? I'm sure you like to stay warm. Well, I got this stuff for you. Introducing Imori.com, a website that introduces anime and Japanese inspired styled clothing made in house. And you can use the code Uchi15 to save yourself 15% off of all these cool, dope hats, beanies, hoodies, t shirts, sweatpants, and way more where that came from. That's Uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15%. Off your entire order at imori.com. Yeah, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Ooch. <gasps> I am back again, once again, with the homie Kai. And I'm gonna say it one more time because redundancy is great. We are back again, once again. How y'all doing today? Okay. So you already know what it is. This is the Full Power Podcast. Primarily Dragon Ball centric podcast. However, since we are full power and out of control, just like Toyotaro san himself, <laughs> uh, so, sometimes we uh, like to talk about other things, anime related and whatnot, or, you know, just things that we have uh, some passion for. Primarily, it's normally going to always be in the anime manga realm. So if you're new to the podcast for whatever reason, welcome aboard um episode 19 and uh intended to be like a weekly podcast but the last few episodes have basically been like chapter reviews <laughs> um i guess more in turn like like i guess to go along with that is mainly due to the fact that there really isn't much to talk about as far as dragon ball is concerned like there's very little like you know, periodically there will be like a Dragon Ball Fighters update with like a character, but that only happens like every couple months or every so often. Um, I mean, Super Dragon Ball Heroes is a thing, but I mean, the only time that series ever gets brought up here is when we're clowning on it, um, <laughs> or or actually when uh, we. When we when we when we're scared if they actually do debut something through that and we're just like wow that's confirmed to never happen in the the main story so that's the only time so like other than that it's like we pretty much just have these these uh, manga discussion but um the idea of doing uh, topics is like you know out of the blue is is obviously still in question so or still is still an option so just give us some feedback guys in the comments sound off let us know what you guys think um if you're not listening to this on youtube if you're listening to this anywhere else feel free to reach out whether it's through joining my discord or if it's hitting either us up, either of us up on twitter you can use the hashtag ask fpp or just use the hashtag full power podcast and at us that we can see exactly what you guys are enjoying about the show you don't like about it what you want to see changed yada 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 so other than that what's up kai not much i'm ready to get right into it because we can't we can't talk no more and i'm i'm on the verge i'm on the verge of breaking with what they're doing right now okay well all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna go back to the first page here and uh yeah let's get right into it so we start off with a typo so shout outs <laughs> has seven threes power has been added to your strength they made piccolo sound like he uh he's really foreign and has bad english when he's spoken pretty good english this entire this entire series but i mean hey, it's all right so the bulk of this chapter i should just start by saying is uh proving how busted Moro actually is mm -hmm. um this guy is way beyond full power out of control he is ridiculous and i think that he is probably the the worst as in like the craziest and most overpowered villain we've seen in a long time um, and we'll, we'll pretty much explain why. So, Vegeta starts us off with some, some high-octane action. 
uh, comes out the ground looking like he's back right back into blue Gatorade diamond form also known as blue evolution and uh, he charges Moro uh, Moro swiftly dodges all of his attacks Vegeta you know continuously keeps coming at him with his super aggressive offense um, Moro literally is unfazed we have we have Gohan providing that little bit of reminder uh, talk or re reminder lines for the reader that he might have absorbed 7-3's abilities, but the rule says it only lasts 30 minutes. So I was like, oh, thanks, Gohan. I totally forgot about that being a rule with 7-3's, uh, with his ability. However, we learned right after that that this power has returned home. There is no time limit, says Moro. So, and right after that, he copies Vegeta's and stores it within his palm. So, you know, and, and this is actually kind of a side note. I wonder if he, he, you can clearly see he has like the diamond jewel thing on the center of his head. And then he has the same thing like on his palms, of his, the palms of his hands. I wonder if he has it in the soles of his feet. That's a good question. Where do you see it in his hands? Oh, I see like after the panel, after I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right <laughs> the after. soles of his feet. Yeah, imagine like, you know, like. Imagine just, how uncomfortable like... that'd be to walk, like, <laughs> kind of have that like the arch of your foot, like. Oh yeah, it must be awkward. Be like always stepping on a Lego. Yeah, <laughs> hey, like a, like a curved one at least. Right. Like oval <laughs> shape. All right, so so he get he absorb he well I say absorb because I don't know I'm just used to saying characters absorbing That's, each other in dragon it's ball it's, it's pretty much what it is like it's just the power instead of the person right so he copies vegeta he's gained his copy ability says moro uh gohan gets a little tight goku the entire time is just confused and he's just like asking all the questions and he's like what's this copy thing you keep talking about like i guess this is goku's first time seeing oh yeah because he didn't yeah, he actually didn't see seven three yeah so he Rightfully so. This is not actually Goku being a dumbass like we're used to seeing. This is him genuinely confused. So yeah. before you trash on Goku this time around, just realize he has no idea who 7-3 even is. Right. You don't so know about he, the scrap they've been through. Like, yeah. Right. So he explains. Go on. Like, briefly, quickly explains to Goku what's going on. Meanwhile, Vegeta's still getting his shit rocked. I say he gets sock and bopped in my video, <laughs> in my reaction. Um, but you know what though? Not 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 for anything. You know, even though with every hit that Vegeta takes, it was it was it was looking like he was about to just go through the ground, and he like catches himself, like stands on all fours, like before he can even like fully take that, like absorb all that that damage, and then he like. You know, he, he like sits there for a sec, but this is where insult is added to yeah. all of these injuries. And I also go along with saying this and I'm like, I don't think Toyotaro realizes what he's doing yeah. to, to to Vegeta, like the character. Okay. I like agree. <laughs> I agree. So what happens now? Is Moro literally dishes a big bang attack. But it's not like it's not like he just does it. He it's the dialogue that makes it that much worse. It's the before dialogue and the after dialogue. Like it's yes. two pop shots. Not including yes. the actual pop shot, the attack itself. <laughs> yeah. This guy, he literally says, Big Bang Attack. Isn't that what you call it, Vegeta? Unleashes it. Vegeta takes it head on. Not only does like the floor beneath them get pretty much wiped out like leveled and like you see more of the earth you know in its layers and vegeta's fried like you can see the smoke coming off his body he's poof, powered he's right yeah he's powered right back down to base and and then here goes moro he says was that supposed to impress anyone such a grandiose name for such an ordinary chi blast. Now, I read that 
I'm not gonna lie, dude. I was like, I was speechless, and I was very surprised that they really just just to to book this guy Moro as this super villain. They really had to like really shit on Vegeta and his whole life like this. Like I don't get it. It was like, wow, like. They proved the point. Yeah, Moro is really on some other stuff right now, but damn, man. They, like, there there were a million ways to prove that point, and this was not on the list, <laughs> and they did it anyway. <laughs> Yo, for real. Honestly, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, We, you know what? Like, we say they. As, as Piccolo says in the next line, this is worse than we realized. <laughs> yup. Like yeah, that that's actually every fan that's how, reading that's that how, right that's now. That's how we all feel right now. Piccolo is how we all feel right now. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because, like, we say they because you know obviously this is Toyotaro's story, even though Toriyama's overseeing it. This is his baby, and yet manga ka for those yeah manga ka for those that don't know they have to go through editorials. Like they got they got to go through their editors and you know people. There's there's a team that like finalizes and approves of all the things that actually take place and every there's there's there is human beings out there that read this that understand the story of dragon ball as it is the characters and they said okay sure let it happen <laughs> don't change anything like <laughs> they they approved this <laughs> so oh it hurts it really does so so then, so okay, so this is this was a very important. Uh, speaking of Piccolo, this was a very important piece of dialogue out of him, and it made me it made me wonder. And we'll get to that. But he says if he's got Vegeta's abilities, that means he can use for a spirit vision. That's a no brainer. Mm -hmm. However, he then goes on to say, "You guys always had the fusion dance, the Patara earrings, and other means of combining as last resorts, but those would be rendered useless now." And then I it hit me. I was like, okay, so I'm pretty much under the impression that not only is Goku gonna get absorbed next, but what if this guy literally does an in-house fusion with, within himself? Imagine you know that. You know what? You know what could be like the like literally the biggest slap in the face. We went through the whole, the new, like, DBS Broly movie and everything, and we got, you know, we got confirmed, like, quote-unquote, canon Gogeta, right? Right. Imagine Moro does what you're saying, and Moro canonizes Big Bang Kamehameha. Yo. <laughs> and then he disses it afterwards. Like, I'm telling you, Moro right now is... A, is is not just the Goku and Vegeta killer. This guy's the Dragon Ball killer. He's here to just shit on the franchise, I think. Like, real talk. This guy... You know what? This is Toriyama. <laughs> I'm asleep. Yo. He is killing the thing that he created. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. But that... Dude, honestly, like, he... He is just it's not that far off. Dude, Actually, Moro, what's happening? Dude, Moro is out here. Like, I, I, I let's let's just continue because we'll we'll Please. elaborate on things as we as we go on. So of course, they got the whole rest of the the characters from Dragon Ball that we probably forgot about, like the Ox King, Chi Chi, Dende, Mr. Popo, freaking uh, the was that Garlic Junior. Freaking my those people. The OG squad that now turned into the extra squad. They're the GT of Super. They're the kid. The the you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Hercule, Videl, yeah. the turtle. I forget the pig's name. I didn't even say it in my reaction. I was like, is that? Oh, that's Oolong. There we go. Okay, it, it came back to me now. So they're all watching Bulma's uh, wireless computer feed up on the lookout tower. Um, and then Dende gives us the idea, like, yo, I can go and restore their energy right now. And Eska's like, you're going to fly down there yourself? And, you know, obviously everyone's like, oh, it's probably not a good idea. It's way too risky. And he's like, 
you know, as Earth's God, I can't just sit back and do nothing. So then they going down there is a little hint or a tease at a possible, this is what I thought, possible uh, fuse or sync with Piccolo that we have not seen yet. We haven't seen Piccolo do that in years. Last time he did that was what? With Nail, right? Yeah. That well, was all the way back mm, on Namek. He did not. Nah, he did refuse with uh with Kami. Oh, Kami. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, that's what I meant. Uh, to fight okay. 17. Yeah, so he did he did it with Kami. So still really long time though. Has it, we have not seen Piccolo do that. Long last time. time we saw Yeah, last time we saw the Namekians do that was Namekians from Universe, Universe six, 6 do it during the Tournament of Power and I felt bad. I felt even doubly as bad for them because they combined the whole race into these two dudes and got bodied. So that just goes to show you how strong the Mechians are, even on Universe 6. Or I mean, who's to who's to say that they're comparable to, you know, Universe 7 the Mechian, or at least just with Piccolo, because you know, I I would say Piccolo is the strongest the that Universe 7 has to offer. And now with the possibility of fusing with Dende is interesting, but uh, we'll we'll get to that later. So. They say be careful. Uh, then they goes flying down. Meanwhile, Krillin is also on the way with some Ready sensu with them beans. Sensu beans. Yep. So they got options here. We're like, okay, so we have two glimmers of hope. Um, and meanwhile, while they're both on their way, Gohan and Piccolo are trying their damnedest. They're you know, <laughs> they, they they go in, and they they they're throwing their shots, getting blocked, getting yeeted getting hit back getting blasted and then uh hold on let's see oh yeah so piccolo does the mr fantastic stretchy arms he holds moro by the ankles and he and then and and this is actually a pretty interesting piece where moro goes haven't you realized that i'm keeping you alive because piccolo before he says i won't let go even if you kill me he's like you people are my meal you know and i'm like that's a pretty good point. I'm like, and I, and I thought about it. I was like, dude, this guy's character, like the character of Moro is OD. Like all the other villains, unless they're being arrogant or cocky, that's the only time that they're just playing with, the, quote unquote, playing with their food, right? Where they're literally just like fighting them, showing off, being all arrogant, flexing, right? And then this guy's literally not just, he's only destroying them so much just so that he can absorb their life energy like he's torturing them exactly yeah this guy's od he's, he's freaking crazy so then the next the next page comes this got in. me a hype i was not expecting this at all this is the one thing nobody saw I, this coming i was like i promise it, you that nobody <laughs> saw this coming ah uh, yeah absolutely nobody zero there's not a soul on this earth that literally no saw this way coming. no way so and after this i will go i will actually start by saying i'm pretty sure at this day and age i mean we should have freaking known this by now if we haven't already i guess i'm just bringing i'm reiterating this i think that characters in dragon ball especially the, at least the saiyans they can do whatever they want as far as abilities go what they you know like if they see someone doing something even once they, they could just do it, like, yep. at any point later down in life. So, Gohan whips out a finger, raises it, does a circle motion, and throws a galactic donut. And what mm. confirms this? He freaking brings his fist together to close it in, to lock his arm in place, and allows Piccolo... Or not even... It allows Goku to instant transmission Super Saiyan Blue Kamehameha right behind Moro. I thought the whole sequence was fire. Just the fact that Gohan did a galactic donut. Yeah. We haven't even... Dude, we haven't even seen Gotenks. Nah, dude. <laughs> like, in how long? Oh, my God. Since, since the Battle of Gods. Yeah, yo. And did he even do it then? I don't remember. He got spanked by Beerus. Oh yeah, he got yo, he got hit so hard they defused. That's right. Yeah, he literally spanked the fusion out of him. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like 
that's nuts to me that's that's actually crazy so it was it was a nice little uh treat for the fans because that that's a move that l we have not seen in ages that's like actually move. yeah with, with yo, that that secured like everybody's attempt to try to help save earth from this like you got dende flying in you got krillin with the beans on lock you got the galactic donut from gohan like the spirit of everybody is fighting against moro right now right that's a great way to put it and what's even weirder is i don't even know if this was intentional but if you look at the panel where gohan like right after gohan like catches moro with the galactic donut and he the one where he says nice his face actually looks like gotenks like the way his <laughs> eyebrow is like it really looks like that john is goten i was like okay like i don't know if that was intended if that's a little like easter egg within a freaking chapter of dragon ball super but I mean, yeah, spiritually, Gotenks is here. Spiritually. Um, so Goku blasts uh, Moro up close. They have a little, not even a beam struggle. It's just a struggle. Like, Moro is trying to hold back um, the Goku's literal point blank Kamehameha. Goku screams so hard, pushes so hard that he actually manages to basically decapitate moro his arm is bla bla like blasted away and moro notices and everyone's like oh shit like they were like probably not so they were they did not real they were probably all surprised they're like yo they didn't think goku could uh, blast his arm off so moro just walks up to goku goku literally like is so alarmed and afraid and again, he doesn't, Goku is not aware that Moro had previously, well, it's not even Moro that previously Seven copied, three. yeah, that copied uh, Piccolo's ability, but it was 7-3 from previous chapters when it was Piccolo versus Go, Piccolo and Gohan versus 7-3. That's a um, long ass 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, right, dude? Like, there's, there's a lot that's happened. And, yeah. uh, and, 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 and this part actually had me screaming because- yep. Moro literally rams his entire br like first of all this is gross in itself but he literally the arm that was just blasted off he shoves his regenerate like just regenerated arm right through Goku's chest so this thing it just looks weird and it, uh, like it I'm like oh my god like that, that that's gross right so it goes right through Goku's freaking what was that? His right pectoral yeah. muscle. He didn't. He didn't do it through the heart because he's not trying to kill him. Exactly. Very, very good attention to detail, and and this is how I know that Moro has absorbed Goku. The same visual effects that when he did when he absorbed Vegeta are here in this panel. So they don't actually confirm this. Funny enough, but. I'm sure it's probably going to be like one of those like elements of surprise type things like later on. He's going to use uh, instant transmission or some crazy shit. Or he'll just he'll just use he'll Ultra just Instinct. Yo, chill. Or he'll just use like let's be real, like or he'll just use Ultra like my man literally used Big Bang Attack, called he it whack. <laughs> oh like, my god. Moro has every right to do whatever the hell he wants. And so yeah, so he absorbed Goku. So he let's let, let's think about this. He has did, did he absorb Gohan before? Was or is it seven three uh, do it? I'm ninety nine percent sure seven three did do it. Okay, so seven three has when when we when he was fighting them. He has Piccolo, Gohan, a copy of Moro. Now with Moro absorbing seven three and all those abilities, he basically has a copy of himself. He has all of 7 3's abilities. He has Gohan, he has Piccolo, Vegeta, and now Goku. This guy doesn't need anybody else. He literally has like he he is he is Mugen the character. He is like the customizable character that you make in Xenoverse or in any of these Dragon Ball oh, games. I'm done. Where you can literally just pick and choose what this is abilities. what it's like in Xenoverse using a CAC against original characters. That shit's busted. Yes, <laughs> like, this is this is him personified in this manga. Busted. So, so Goku is like done. Yeah, and he like 
he got the dead look on his face. He fell on Moro's leg. And he's like, oh, don't you go dying on me just yet. Kicks him down. He's like, I need to devour your energy before you pass on. That was the point of all this. Gohan tries to... Gohan tries to come at him, gets a little bit of his Zenkai boost because as we know, and Moro of course realizes this, it seems that Saiyans receive a power boost when enraged. But that it, little bit of a power boost was nothing. And I'm sure all of you Gohan heads out there that was reading this were probably like, oh yeah, oh yeah, Gohan, this is it, this is it. He got backhanded. <laughs> he literally... <Next>. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yo, exactly. Next, like, who else? <laughs> like, dude, Gohan's teeth got broken. Son. Yeah, bro. Like, nose Moro, busted. Moro looking in Piccolo's direction, like, who wants to smoke? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And, oh, okay, so, all right. So, after this, uh, Dende, uh, what is it? <gasps> this, oh, my God. He, he, Sky he Skype calls Piccolo. Yeah. Uh, t telepathy. Telepathy. He Skype calls dun, dun, dun. him. Yeah. <laughs> calls him up mentally. And he's like, I'm headed your way. He's like, is that you, Dende? And he's like, yes, if nothing else, I can restore everyone's energy. And of course, like we just uh. learned, Moro can also hear as good as Piccolo. So he knows everything that Piccolo just found out. And he goes, stop it, Dende, no more. And Moro confirms. He says, "I see another of your Namekian abilities." So let let let's just not confuse the people that are listening right now. Um, just to just to be clear, when we say when they copy the, uh, they, the when they say they uh, when Moro copies the ability of a character, what they really mean is everything and everything <laughs> about that character <laughs> is at Moro's disposal. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> He has, he can do stretchy arms, he can regenerate, he can even have super hearing. He can do what we're about to get into, uh, your your actual abilities, like your moves. Uh, he can do all these things, okay? L just to be clear, all right? We haven't seen them power up with their own power-ups, um, but like I'm sure we'll eventually see that at some point. I, I really don't think like he's gonna go super sane or anything like that, um, but like that i feel like if he did that would just just be like a flex be like oh let me try this saiyan power up and see if it actually gives me any kind of real boost of power or something like that like i, I could just see him saying something like that but so here let we him, go let so, him try to figure out how to use the saiyan rage like black did Ooh. okay <laughs> oh, okay okay so so let's see so so as soon as Moro realizes, like it's all oh, restoring energy, he said, the Namekian moving toward us has such an ability. So right when he learns this, he shoots up some kind of blast in the air and it creates a dome around where they're fighting. He, he literally goes, that, made the arena. He, he oh, yo. He and made I, everybody else spectators. I honestly, I saw, I when I saw this, I was like, they always have to have some kind of arena-esque like you know what i'm saying like they 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 just can't escape it ever since cell they just have to have some kind of battle enclosed format blah 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 but it's all right it's all good he says the barrier should keep out any unwanted nu nu nuisances and prevent you from escaping and right from here then they shows up of course like uh, like a second too late and and of course krillin is not too far off notices the same thing he's like ah oh, come on what is it this time and now it's just moro versus piccolo and jacko of How course jacko, jacko not die from that <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so oh but surprise 17 and 18 are still in there they, mm, keep they, they yeah they yeah they get the finger guns behind the head no look no scope freaking <laughs> like point blank freaking one shot each each of those characters they they showed up for literally what three panels i count three panels yes three panels <laughs> and uh <laughs> they're gone <laughs> next Pick Leo, yep, next Pick piccolo <laughs> literally bro he's taking like, out the whole galactic avenger patrol yes 
Moro is confirmed stronger than Thanos. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let me see. So, Piccolo then starts to apologize to Jacko. He's like, sorry, Jacko, for roping you into Earth's battle. Jacko's like, knock it off. Moro broke out of our prison. And besides, Earth is my jurisdiction. If this planet is doomed to die, then it's my duty to go down with the ship. And Piccolo's like, oh, word? Say less. I won't feel bad about doing this. <laughs> And he literally starts <laughs> doing like this Vegeta looking ass right. freaking like self destruction type of move. He starts loading it up. He's like, that barrier is a blessing in disguise since it'll keep any destruction contained. There'll be nothing left in here when I'm done. And he's like, huh? Blowing yourself up. He's like, could, could you hold off for a minute? I haven't made my peace. And right even before he could even think to do anything like that, Piccolo gets hit with his own muscle go ball freaking special <laughs> beam cannon straight to the freaking abdomen made him look like rabbits. Whoa, 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 whoa. So from that point on, Piccolo's down and Moro disrespected him. He said, no more nonsense from you, okay? Just lie there. Looking at right. Jocko, he said, you're the only one left, Galactic Patrol. Doesn't even acknowledge him, just just his franchise, who he reps, right? We see everybody, all six of all six of these patrol members, like, down. We see Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Gohan, and the two androids. Mm -hmm. Can we just take a moment to process the fact that, with the exception of Goku, who he just obliterated, everybody else got taken down with, like, their own moves. I mean, I guess Gohan just kind of, like, got kicked away. But, like, Piccolo got done for by his own special beam. Vegeta got hit with the Big Bang attack. And the androids got finger blasted. Who, when you think about the androids in their debut in their other, you know, Trunks' universe, that's all they were doing to humans. I thought they just did, like, hand blasts. Nah, I've seen a lot of finger blasts. Okay, well, yeah. they. I mean, and the funny part is, Moro didn't absorb them at all. And he never seen them before this. And he he hit him with the no scope behind the head finger yeah, blast yeah. without even like, dude, this, like I said, this chapter alone proves how Moro is the Dragon Ball killer. He's the franchise killer, dog. He's He is embarrassing all these characters with their own moves right now. And then some. And he's, he's in his prime plus state plus all these copied abilities. Which is so perfect to set up exactly what we have been predicting. And That's true. we're going to get right into it. So Dende obviously being feeling very bad right now. He's like, oh, I was completely useless. I couldn't defend the planet or help anyone. Some god of earth I am. While he's like up against the barrier that he can't push through. And oh, what do you know? He just falls right through like shit in the toilet right he just falls right through the bowl and he's like huh the barrier just opened up and he looks around and he goes and and this mysterious un unfaced character this isn't over yet god of earth and he goes ah it's you and of course they don't show who it is but, but then they hasn't seen that many yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so he's like he's like oh my god it's you so we go right back to the action so at this point, the reader is teased. Is this Whis? Is this Miris? I guess we'll find out soon. So Jacko, trying to hold up his little Fisher Price uh, Toys R Us uh, weapon here, and he's like, "Stay Yo, back! I'm warning gun. you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. His that's, super Soaker. <laughs> that's like the, the that's like the discount version Super Soaker. <laughs> that's the John you find at like the dollar store for three dollars or something. Right. Like that. But he goes, to be blunt, I have zero interest in your life energy. Such a small portion and probably foul tasting, which means I have no need to keep you alive. Farewell. He goes, buzz off, scumbag. Pew, pew. He shoots off his <laughs> little blaster and he, he, he peeps the one that's, com that's incoming. But real quick notices a second one. And Moro forced to take the hit, but blocks it, obviously. And he goes, you imbued that shot with your own energy. And 
what the dust clears who is it none other than agent motherfucking miris and he goes but you aren't really galactic patrol are you and it ends with a smirk from miris so what can we confirm from this Whis and miris have come to an agreement of some sorts mm, i don't know about that well, well, hear me out. They, they come to an agreement of some sorts, whether it's Miris deciding to abandon right. all, all angel-esque right. things and understanding the consequence that if he does go through with this, that he will die, whether it's by Moro's hand or if he actually is able to, you know, help them, help the aid in defeating Moro that he will be wiped like like his whole existence will be wiped and that's it do you like attack on titan dragon ball super dr stone full metal alchemist brotherhood well those are just a few of the several different hundreds of anime selections that you can watch for free with my trial code for Funimation Now. All you gotta do is click that link in the description below and check out Funimation Now for a free 14 day trial period to enjoy all of these anime and many, many more. That's Funimation Now by using the link in the description below. And we don't know, we don't know for sure if he'll be wiped. He was still in training. So he maybe he didn't get granted the, the position enough for that rule to apply like so harshly. But you don't know. The angels are very strict. So he might have right. accepted it. But he might have been like, look, I have no problem accepting it. But I'm going to take this one down with me. Right. So here's the thing. So like this is where things kind of get into like this weird gray area because we know that Miris is, at, in fact, Whis's brother. So they are related. Right. They, they yeah, the look, angels. they yeah, like they look like they are of the same species. They have very similar, like, um, physical features, you know, not even just skin tones or anything like that, but like just how, like, you know, their eyes are and like, even their their apparel once we see Miris like outside of the the Galactic Patrol getup, you know, like the hair the hair color, yep. it's all there, right? So because they are related, and even though they call him an angel in training, the fact of the matter is whatever whatever race whatever they race actually is, are, yeah. like they're they they're different and they're as strong as how they're supposed to be. And that's probably why the quote unquote angels are the strongest beings in the entire universe for each universe for that matter. So strong that they're stronger than the gods of destruction. And that's why they have a self nerf in that they're not supposed to get involved with matters like this. So in the case of Miris, Miris is like, well, I think I'm just going to not be a fully fledged angel anymore then. Yeah. because i want to help stop people like this but the thing is like you said to what you were saying they have very strict rules so we don't know if like once you start undergoing this training you know regime if that all entail like if that means like once you start you're committed and yep. even if you decide to quit you will still suffer the consequences of being wiped you know by break because you're breaking that code because the thing is like their race like imagine imagine being that strong that you have to have a nerf where you're like you're this strong so that means you cannot fight you cannot get involved because it is it is a complete and utter uh, imbalance right yep. which to the to this it makes sense it makes sense to the character it makes sense to the to the, like how that race works and it's kind of wild to, that for for them to be this strong that they're not allowed to get involved with such matters now the thing the next thing that i want to say is that what does this mean for miris is he is is this the part where miris we get to literally get a taste of how strong angels are when he goes toe to toe with moro or is this just another an, another uh, way to book Moro 
in, a, in, in such a way that he's now going to defeat an angel. To then literally gas this guy even more so. And then and then beg like like beg the question like what the fuck happens after that you know what I'm saying? The only way I can see that happening, I don't I don't really see that happening, um, but the only way I can see that happening is if like like we like we both mentioned the angels have very strict rules. If it gets to the point where it's like Mirus is allowed to interfere with this, you know, mortal issue. As long as he agrees to deal with the con consequences, you know, not being an angel, potentially being erased, certainly not being an angel, but potentially being erased. <clears throat> right. And what if they put another restriction on him saying like, yeah, you can help. Yeah, you've abandoned your post. Mm, we don't know if we're going to kill you or not. We'll see. But then they put another restriction saying, oh, by the way, you can fight him, but you still can't use your angel powers. Yeah. The moment you do, we'll kill you on the spot. Right, and that's that. And that's what is there for. Yes. To watch yes. for that. He is literally playing. Uh, uh, what he's he's nanny. He is yeah. he's literally being the nanny right now. Yeah, that that's what that's what I think is happening. That's crazy. Just to make sure that he don't break any rules of of the deal that they made. You know what I'm saying? And yep. maybe, maybe that's also why he's back in the Galactic Patrol outfit. Maybe I he's think gonna... that's a hundred. The one, the moment I saw him in the Galactic Patrol outfit, I was like, oh, he quit. Yeah, right. He I quit. That, I was like, he sense. absolutely, he hung up the coat. He hung up the staff. He said, I quit. Take me to Earth. Yep. That's a, that's a very, it's a very strong, strong point. And it makes sense. You know, the man showed up because the last time we saw him, he was in the, the angel's outfit. That was the first time we saw Mears in, in that in that getup. And now, after not seeing him for a few chapters or so, he is now back, back. in his glass. Like how, how he was introduced. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, it'd be interesting because it's just like, how is he going to fight him without using his naturally like his natural born abilities as an angel like what's he gonna do just use this fisher price gun the entire time like i don't understand and just like outspeed him because we already know angels can dodge anything look look at look at weiss versus broly for freaking five seconds that happened in the movie <laughs> weiss was dodging He's like oh almost got me there like come on like <laughs> like this is what's he gonna do just we weave those Casually, the entire like, fight broly of all people broly coming at you with his fist in a bra oh almost got me there casually yeah. like <laughs> that's what i'm saying like so yeah so we now have we we are we are we have now set up something let's just remind you guys that we have been saying for a few episodes now is that this is literally <laughs> going according to plan this is the dark timeline that we are currently now experiencing thus far unless they swerve the hell out of us and something crazy happens and that's actually unexpected because what we're expecting from out of this is whether miris gets some kind of upper hand or not whether he really does moral in what's end what's gonna end up happening is something's gonna happen to miris and this is going to push Goku to the mastered Ultra Instinct form. And Goku will uneventfully and not excitingly get the win over Mirus or over Moro. And that's this is just playing a part of all of that. We don't want that to happen. But as you see, it is basically happening before our very eyes. Now, I'd just like to point out something, considering that we were able to go through this whole chapter and literally just brush over this man like he don't exist. You think Whis is going to open up another hole in the barrier for Krillin and his sensu? <laughs> now, I... Okay, so... <laughs> listen, if he does that, then that just... That is just more plot holy shit that yes. this franchise has. Yes. Honestly. Because... Yes. It's already bad enough they did it in a movie. Like, of all things. They literally did it in a movie. If their freaking father is supposed to be watching over all of them, right? They, what was he? Taking a shit and he didn't notice that <laughs> his son 
literally rewound time to redo an entire segment. But Shit. at the end of the day, that was kind of like Beerus's move. And like what? Beerus is the god of destruction, so technically he shouldn't be doing that. But I feel like at the end of the day, it was Beerus's call, and Whis went with it. And why? Because they, because the, the the scapegoat reason is, oh, Earth has good food. Yes, that exactly. I think that's bullshit. Honestly, welcome to I, Dragon Ball. I, yeah, yeah. Thanks. It's it's great here. Um, but <laughs> I listen. I I just. I, I, I just think that if they're going to have rules, they should just go abide by them. And that was a problem presented then. It's like it's bad enough that there's been, you know, several plot holes throughout the franchise's existence. But like it, it just it don't help when we have instances like this, where, like that, where it's like ultimately like you realize that that moment created another timeline right then and there absolutely like a hundred percent like well, i mean when we well they they mentioned like when like when the angels mess with it it doesn't interfere with the timeline and stuff like that because if it if it did then you know the whole goku black thing would have been an endless reoccurring issue because they wouldn't have been able I to guess. stop the amount of timelines yeah so we like interfered with it and was like don't worry when i interfere with it it ain't gonna do shit that's so whack. Like, how the... I don't understand. Welcome to Dragon like, Ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. All right. Whatever. So, so that was the first big, like, wow. Angels aren't supposed to get involved, right? Oh, it was Beerus' call. Oh, oh. Oh, a bunch of O's. oh. Okay, <laughs> like, like oh. that's cool. Oh. <laughs> like, like he let he let Miris in, right? Was he gonna he gonna see little poor bald ass Krillin over there, all disheveled with with a bag of sensu beans? He's gonna be like, oh, let me might in, as well. Let me in. I got them regens. Yeah, yeah. What was we gonna do? He's like, oh, might as well. Oh, sure. Why not? Oh, I'll just I'll just take the whole barrier down. Why not? I'll just you know, <laughs> like. Uh, Barry like, is clogging up my free space. Gotta, you know. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, I, I just, I don't know. Like, they so, yeah, have. Be on the lookout for that, cause I was wondering about that. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure if it, if it actually does happen. But as far as uh, chapter 63 goes, my prediction, cause we've been just giving like overall predictions as to how the, the rest of the arc is gonna go. Um, I think what we're gonna see, I hope is we're gonna see that conversation between Miris and Whis and what how how it came to them deciding like okay like we're gonna go and yo actually to what you were saying what if this conversation that they ha could have had up at their residency what if it was Beerus that actually greenlit that and he goes big facts like i allow it because beerus we saw him what a, however many chapters ago he was he was peeping and he was paying attention to what was going on and he knows that they are in big fucking trouble and at the end of the day it is his call just like you said he he chooses to destroy or not to destroy and if he doesn't want a certain person fucking up his planet with some good food. But you know what? You know what? Like, Beerus, like, get the fuck out of here, you <laughs> lazy cat having ass. Like, that is your job, Hokai, head ass. Like, you need to be <laughs> fixing this. Like, this is not a job for the angels. Y'all gonna make Beerus lose his whole life because you too lazy? Facts. Well, hey, and like the Dragon Ball, how gonna help you? Yeah, no fucking shit, man. I can't, I can't with this, cause it's like Beerus, like Beerus, like just, just think about it, like just think about the character itself, like he could, like, could he even pull off the Hakai at this point? Like he got, he just literally watched Goku get washed in the form he dreamed about as a little kitty. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure he'd rather have an angel deal with it now, but like, dude, you had multiple opportunities. You're like, oh, now nah, they got it. Dude, that's 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 been the character since we were introduced to this guy. This guy, first of all, he slept. He slept yeah, yeah. through all of Dragon yes. Ball Z. Do you realize He's, that? <laughs> yeah, I know. 
<laughs> he slept through all of, he ordered Frieza to eradicate the sle to, to eradicate this uh the Saiyans and then was like, alright, I'm gonna take a nap. You were about to call him the Slavens. I, <laughs> I, I got like tongue twisted, relaxed. <laughs> that was that was funny though. The slave, I mean they <laughs> the were though. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Frieza called them. Come on, man. He called yeah, them fucking bro. monkeys. <laughs> Racist as hell. Yeah, but anyways, the Slavens, right? They, they, they freaking Beerus. <sighs> Beerus is Beerus, dude. What the hell? What are we gonna do with this guy? But at, at the end of the day, I feel like he's the one that made the call. He said, "All right, let him have it. Let let him do it. If he wants, he's like, if he wants to fucking help them out. If he wants to." throw away his angel and trainee mm -hmm. stuff let him go that was his call and he 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 was the one he was the parent signature on that permission slip <laughs> right <laughs> he signed the oh my god what do you even call that uh he signed just like the just the parental slip like you know yeah. you when you're under 18 you got to get your parents to sign it you can go on the field trip and shit yep yeah the permission slip that's the, yeah, the permission that's, slip dude so, I mean, whatever. Like, at the end of the day, I mean, okay, so, so yeah, as far as 63 goes, that I, I hope that we get that backstory conversation. I'm sure that in itself might take up to. the majority of the chapter. It could. And 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 we and if we're lucky, we'll see a little bit of action or a little bit of back and forth between Miris and Moro. But I, I'm not going to expect a whole dedicated chapter for Mirrors vs. Moro in 63. I don't think so. And you know what's crazy is now that this is actually happening, we're seeing this unfold right before our eyes. Like, I can honestly see this arc lasting into next year. I don't know about that. I'd be, I, I would be. I wouldn't complain if it did. I'm just saying I don't know about that. Like, bro, they literally called in the angel. That's true. Like, so does. Who's next? The, the, who's next? <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say. Do, They're going to push the button? Does this rule out? No, nah, fuck the button. Does this does this rule out Majin Buu? Oh my god, that's he, look like I didn't even ask you about Broly. I'm being real. I did not ask. <laughs> you, I didn't even ask you about Broly. I, I said Majin Buu. Oh my god. Does this rule out Majin Buu? That would be such a weird twist to throw him back. Like, dude, he got the first. He was the first one to catch Moro's hands. <laughs> Next, like, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. He did. He was. Yo, that's think wild. about how long ago that was. Like he was the that's first crazy. to catch Moro's hands. That's so nuts. They dude. used him as a debut there. Yeah, and he even yeah. Thinking back, they even it brought was, the Kaioshin out of him and everything. That's like, what they tried I'm hard. saying, dude. Yeah, yeah. You, if you think about it. They ha Boo had his moment already, and mm -hmm. they, they it would be really stupid and they uneventful. Even, they even gave Go Tanks their moment in this chapter, like low key through Go <laughs> on, right key. through the brother, through the older freaking brother, man. That's crazy. I swear to God, if Gohan when he gets a little rejuvenation, I swear to God, dude, if this man starts doing the freaking volleyball shit, I'm done. I'm done. Gonna do it with Piccolo. <laughs> Listen, if he starts doing the volleyball, John, or with I could Piccolo, say Dende Lo, you never know. But do you think Piccolo's gonna fuse with Dende? No. Okay. I mean, because I mean, v v they did they they did tease it. Vegeta said like, "Oh, I could even like <gasps> defuse." You right. Though. Yeah, like he said that last chapter. He said. Oh, I like I could defuse uh, Namekians. You want to try it? You know what? That that one comment from Vegeta changed my opinion. Exactly. That, it that, could. It that's could. That's a plant. It could. That they was yeah. That, that was low key. Yeah, they did. Hell yeah! The fact that Dende's even on the battlefield right now. This is yo. This is the first time Piccolo's gonna get some real shine. But how much of a difference is that gonna be? Like, oh okay, God. he. Th th let's think about this. Piccolo already has Kami and nail within him right now if he gets dende what more is that really gonna do for him and did Com nail was nail not combined with a bunch of namekians already so he could get <laughs> that strong so. like yeah like like okay sure what 
He gonna go super Namekian. What he gonna do? Light super green duper aura. Namekian. Super dupe. Come on, Barney. <laughs> Listen, this shit. This shit not. It's not gonna. It's not gonna matter. It's really not. I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. It's like it'll look cool when the the when the when the Dragon Ball Avengers reassemble for the fifth time against this guy from the ashes. Dun, 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 dun. And then, okay, cool. Like, they're all good. But Moro is literally all of them and then some combined. Minus Mirus. If, yo, if Moro absorbs stop, Mirus, stop. Don't they even are done. <laughs> I, nothing, nothing. Then Mirus actually has to come in and do something. Bro, I feel like the reason Beerus hasn't done something at this point already is this man is shook off of what Moro is capable of right now. I feel like I feel like Beerus got his tail between his legs right now. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, you really I don't think, think so? I really think so because you do you did you not see the actual bricks that he shat in the top when Goku used Ultra Instinct? Yo. And this time he watched like Moro put ultra like the half ultra instinct the omen he put that shit down <laughs> that's literally beerus's favorite like everything like that's that's literally what beerus is there to be like there to achieve and moro put that shit down and now he's plus ultra even further yo i'm not gonna lie dog i would it would be interesting if Beerus actually decided to get his hands dirty and actually I would really... I, that's what I want. I'm nah. at the point where that's what I want. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm at the point where that's what I want. I don't want it to be... I don't know. I don't want it to be Beerus. I don't think they gave him enough of a story or enough of a place to take down somebody that tore apart Dragon Ball. Yo, before our eyes in one chapter... I don't in one chapter. <laughs> I don't. I don't need like Miris is not the one. I'm sorry. Like, it's Miris is not the one. I understand the point they're trying to make. Like the statement, like him pulling up in the Galactic Patrol outfit is a big enough statement on itself. We can speculate so many things from that one panel. Mhm. Mm I don't want it to be him. I'd much rather it be Beerus. Beerus has had a place. You know what I mean? Like. That's first. That's his universe. It's his job. <laughs> it is his motherfucking job yap, to be destroying yap. this. Like these are like. It's not even to the point where it's like, oh yeah, I better get. I guess I better you know go down to Earth before they ruin all the good food. No, this is to the point where he understands what Goku and Vegeta as Saiyans are capable of fusion or no fusion because of the tournament of power he understands what other universes are capable of and this man is still trying to achieve that you know that form himself whatever you want to call it technique he wants to achieve ultra instinct himself like he's got shit to live for he's got shit to do and somebody is coming along bodying his sparring partners his future sparring partners <laughs> oh my god you better do something <laughs> Dude, you think honestly, you think yeah. he's gonna you think Moro has this much power that's about to go up against a pseudo angel? You think after copying everything that Vegeta and potentially Goku are, you think he don't know about Beerus? You think he don't know about like you, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He even says in this panel like you aren't really Galactic Patrol, are you? How the fuck would he know that? He sensed it. He probably sensed it. But who do you think he got the ability to sense that type of shit from? Hmm, probably... It's probably Vegeta's right now. Or actually, well, not nah, at this point. He's got Goku and Vegeta, so it's probably both. Either of them. Both of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's a... He's got ah. way too much. Like, he can't, like... Beerus, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Beerus, you should be sorry. You looking sorry. Like, you need Ooh. to do something. Like You're sorry! <laughs> You yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But here's what all right, so here's what I want to say to what you're saying. So I don't think that I think as far as this arc is concerned, Miris has been a part of it for and he's been a crucial part of it for like You're not wrong. Like for for the for the duration of this arc. As soon as he was introduced as a character, it, like I, I know me personally, like the one of the first things I said was like, oh, this dude's an angel. Look at him. 
Everyone ignored yep. it, of course. That, I'm used to that shit, right? But <laughs> then as, so, as, as, as soon as we started getting closer to the idea of him actually being what I said was like, oh yeah, like he's definitely an angel. Like, like once we saw the color page of what he looked like, I was like, 100% he's an angel. Like, there's no way he's not an angel. Like before, yep. I was like, ah, he's like 90%. Nah. The color he, page was the confirmation. Yes. Yeah, like just to see like what his hair color was like, skin tone, all that kind of stuff. You know, eyes definitely hundred percent angel, right? So he's been he's been a part of this arc for like like as he's like been like one of the, I would say like a backbone part because he was there from the beginning. He there's there's a lot more character and story element overall, like layers that were introduced through this um like through this character and you know we, we we learned a lot more about the like just the angels in general how he in fact is an angel how he shouldn't even be helping out goku how he's been literally doing this galactic patrol thing this entire time almost kind of like in secret and and here he is now it's like it's like it's like this guy is, is coming full circle almost because he was he was trying to help them out the entire time but now he's gotten like this this is gonna be kind of nuts because when they fight and if he does have restrictions it's gonna be wild to see this guy trade blows with moro on some nerfed shit but then imagine right. the imagine the moment whether it's Whis or Beerus, and they give him the might guy, I allow it, to Rock Lee. And this man finally drops the weights. And he fucking, like, really, get, he does not man. I think that shit would be fire. But, in regards to Beerus, I think, I mean, literally we saw Beerus for maybe a couple panels. This entire arc. Like, this is definitely his problem. But as far as this whole story has been telling itself... I don't even think that, like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if if Beerus is like, I don't think I, I shouldn't say he's he's not. I don't think he's scared. I don't think that's really a the, the issue. It's just that he is being what his character is, a lazy ass cat. Being Ooh. sorry. And be <laughs> you're sorry. <laughs> he's, being, he's being sorry as hell. And and I mean, it'd be it would be sick to see Beerus actually decide to go the, all right, I'm not about to be a bitch moment. And cause the thing is he could easily Hakai and then it's uneventful, boring ending. Okay, cool. But Moro that's the thing, done. that's the thing. He like, it's been mentioned that Hakai only works with people that are weaker than you at the end of the day. Mm. This man put down half of ultra instinct <laughs> before he even got like you know what i mean like i don't I'm, think he was stressed before but i feel like he's stressed now right and i feel like we have different opinions because like i feel like i'd rather i'd rather beerus do this than miris and i suppose you'd rather the other way around right just because of like the context of how everything goes because like if they yeah if, if miris was to like they already set this fight up if if Miris was to like stop or get interrupted by Beerus just because out of nowhere he felt like this is his obligation or his job, even though he's been this lazy to allow all of this to even get as far as it's got already, like I don't know. I just, I, I just I just think that in itself would almost undermine the entire arc because they've already set all this shit up with all these other characters and then if beerus is just gonna decide like you know what i'm just gonna take it from here it would just shit on the entire arc it would literally just make but, this whole thing way more messy it this is first of all this is a dragon ball every arc is messy thank you thank you but for that, i don't talk. want it to be like i just want it to be as clean as possible yeah. when it yeah. when it is possible Shout out to our extra episodes real quick. Sponsorship for, you know, whoever the fuck. Because we'll be doing some other stuff, you know, non-Dragon Ball related. Where shit actually makes sense. <laughs> yes. So check out those FPP extras. But 
I, th I feel like we have different opinions because you're looking at it from an arc perspective and I agree with you. I agree that they've set Mirrors up more. They've brought him in. They've given him a tail, you know, everything mm -hmm. is pointing more in his direction. But I'm looking at it from like a series perspective where it's kind of like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, just kind of like looking at the franchise. And I'm like, yo, like, honestly, I don't want Mirrors to do this. Like they can't even give Vegeta his goddamn shine. They can't. Why is Mirrors pulling up on his first arc? Gonna do something? Gonna do Beerus' job that we haven't even actually gotten to see Beerus do? Destroyer God of Universe 7 that hasn't destroyed anything yet? Mm. What did he light tap a finger the first frame we ever saw him in the Battle of Gods movie and then he never destroyed anything after that? What he ate some hot. What did he He ate some wasabi and, blood and destroyed a bunch of planets and we hit him with the chop. <laughs> with the chop oh my god like i i think like from a dragon ball super perspective not just like the moral arc but like the the whole dragon ball super perspective i i want i would rather between these two i would rather see beerus because beerus over mirrors that's what this is called for me because <laughs> because beerus mirrors, over mirrors. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Be uh, Miris does not have enough for... He does not have enough of a place in Dragon Ball Super to be taking down somebody this formidable. Well... I respect his resolve to step down as an angel trainee and step in because somebody else won't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Say yeah. it one more time for the people that didn't hear me in the back because somebody acting sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. Oh, well, I don't know. Yeah. Either way, this 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 whole conversation happened because we have both equally given up on the fact and acknowledged and accepted yeah. that Vegeta is not winning this. Nah, dude. I I had myself ready, bro. I like I pulled I pulled it up. I had a snack and everything. I was sitting here. I was like, I bet I played some like I played some music. I was like, I bet. Let's read this. I look, chapter two, Edge of Defeat. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Edge of Defeat, yeah. Like, that's I read the title. the title and I almost didn't want to keep reading. I wanted to, like, come back to it later. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I hear that. I literally I really read the title and I just, like, I, didn't, I wasn't even hungry anymore. Yeah, man. That is. Yeah, it's. Like honestly, from all the all the things, all the ideas that we just discussed, it's really hard to see Vegeta actually getting the the shine that he deserves and this 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 huge win. Cause honestly at this point, like, look how strong Moro is. They got Miris now. Like, if Vegeta was to somehow like do this, I think that it, like it would be a huge W huge w because moro as a character it'd be, it'd be the OD. biggest w in dragon ball history yeah but then again it would be a it would be a, a really big win for him to have as like the person that ended it but just think about all of the shit they had to go through and all the characters that were a part of this fight like moro is literally arguably he is a bunch of characters in one per in one body right now because he has all these copied abilities and whatnot but the fact at the end of the day it is one dude versus goku vegeta piccolo gohan 17 18 like and and then and now miris and and they have two backup supports then they with the freaking uh, the with the with the um the revitalization and the sensu beans from krillin and they you know have what? all this shit you know what it's even funnier because i remember throwback to one of our previous episodes where we were talking about fusions right we we're talking about mm -hmm. like gogeta and vegeto just like all, all kinds of fusions but specifically gogeta and vegeto we were talking about how the difference i, I mentioned that the difference between the two was that <clears throat> Gogeta always fights a very formidable foe, but Vegito fights fused warriors. So far. Yeah. So far. True. Obviously, so far. Yeah. 
And so this is going to be the first time we see a fused warrior. They're not going to get to do that shit. Facts. Wait, wait, well, wait, we don't know that. I think Moro's statement kind of confirmed it. He's literally going to split their asses if they even try. Yeah. Oh, wait. Nah, son. See, this is this is why this is why we wait to talk about all of this shit with Dragon this Ball is, on the podcast. We because <laughs> all these great ideas come to mind in the heat of the moment. Listen, you have to you have to realize like the amount of thought that goes into what could happen is endless at this point. Because, That's true. We're out of control. Yeah, because listen, Miris is now holding off Moro. That gives Dende the opportunity yep. to go and heal them. That also then gives though these these all these combatants the opportunity to strategize and to think yep. of what they could do, right? So one of the options out of the many that I'm thinking of right now is that Goku and Vegeta <laughs> could still do fusion. They can we can see Gogeta in the manga for the first time ever, right? They could get that 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 bucket list shit checked off for the dragon ball manga right they, that could happen and literally moro can use the spirit vision to split the fusion as he said he would do and who knows he could even do the self within fusion in-house himself and be like oh you guys are going to do the fusion? I'm, watch him canonize a move. What I'm telling you, if that I'm shit goes you, down, watch him be, be the one to canonize the move. It's, dude, it's going to be godlike. Like, like, the idea that Miris is here now, honestly, gives us hope and, like, potential to see a lot of other shit happen that we probably didn't even think or even expect it to, to take place now because we could honestly see a fused character versus a technically another fused character moro right now is a fused character so yep. if gogeta fights uh moro right now that is that is definitely a fuse he is a bunch of fusions in within himself and then if he even i don't know how the fuck that even makes sense like he has the copy ability of vegeta copy ability of goku and what's he gonna do just put his hands together and go fusion Ha! And just clap and boom. He's just himself, but with Gogeta powers or Vegito powers, like that's just nuts. I mean, I think I mean, it would be Gogeta could, though. They could even just like they could even like if we're going with the fusion theory, they could even just fuse and you know all he has to do is grab him, grab him, copy that. He can toss both their individual abilities, be like, yo, this one's more litty. This one's got this one's one spot instead of two. But Hmm, that's interesting because now, okay, now you brought up another good point because if he sees Gogeta and and he's like, well, I'm going to erase these abilities so that I could just take his, then that means I mean, I guess he I mean, I guess he's like kind of stockpiling a little smarter. I guess. But, but that's the... Th I mean, I don't think... I, dude, they're making him to be invincible right now. So I don't... I think that... I could be wrong, of course. But I think that your idea of thinking he still has X amount of slots is wrong. If you don't have a time limit, what makes you think he has a limit to how many abilities he can copy? That's true. Well, yeah, because 7-3, he only had... He only had three slots. Yeah. And right now, visibly... Did we seven, only three see three. Even have those orbs on his hands? No, he had them on his head, all of them. Oh yeah, you're right. He had all three of them on his head, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what you do? He got them on the soles of his feet for the backup, backup. That's what I'm <laughs> like saying. You said, like you said, yeah. Or what if he got? What if his two ass cheeks are each a holder? Next. <laughs> but but yeah. So like honestly, like there's there's so many different things that could happen. Like that would actually be kind of fire, um, but that, but oh yeah. So finishing my thought, like if he does make room, if he has to make room for Gogeta, yeah. like let's say he gets a Gogeta copy ability, because then he figures, oh well, if they're fused, if they're a fused being that have all the abilities of Vegeta and Goku within them anyway, then why don't I just take 
why don't I just take Gogeta, right? So all arrogant and shit being like, he's already at like OD, OP, powerful as it is. Then he take, he like, he, he, he makes space, right? In his internal uh, storage, right? And he gets rid of, let's say, it doesn't matter who he gets rid of, right? Let's say he gets rid of like Goku or Vegeta to, to take the Gogeta fusion, right? He takes the Gogeta fusion without realizing that the Gogeta fusion only lasts 30 minutes. Even though he said that his copy abilities don't expire, but if you copy a fusion ability that doesn't last, it, it like that it, that has a time limit, does that mean that it overwrites that, that rule and it stays unlimited? Because that could be, that could play a part in the story because if that's the loophole, to Moro's own rules with his fucking shit, then I think that that would be a slight opening for them because then they all they have to do is continue to fight this guy and then he runs out of the ability and then he's gonna have to go in and try to copy Goku and Vegeta separately again to even like hold up because I mean, I, I think that shit would be, it would be interesting, but you know I don't about- know. I was just gonna say, you know about all the shit we've talked about, just like on these episodes and everything, just like all the crazy theories. Mm-hmm. This is the first time I'm officially gonna say we are speculating too far. We are actually out of control. They yeah. can do whatever they want with this. Moral yeah. is invincible. They can write this however they want. They can loophole. They can not loophole. They can make him take slots and then lose both of them because it was a fusion. They can keep like this is everybody in the show is breaking rules right now. So like, obviously, <laughs> even the writers are breaking rules. So nothing, nothing makes sense anymore. A hundred percent. Yeah. So all those who are who are uh, you know newer, welcome to Dragon Ball. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy, but. Yeah, I mean, this is what happens when we know that Vegeta's not going to win. So we have to think of all this cooler shit to happen. So that yeah, would cause this is kind not... of suffice. I'm just glad because, like, Vegeta didn't win. That's very upsetting. Don't get me wrong. But I'm glad because Goku got put down too. That's okay. all I wanted. If I if it was going to be Vegeta, I'm sorry. Goku had to get put down with him. I'm not going to lie, dude. As soon as I saw Goku get fucking, like, destroyed internally right. through the chest right. i was like okay this is all right like yeah exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> i was like okay i'll keep reading this is fine like that's, this, that's this, it's this sad that it comes to that <laughs> like never fine. never would i thought in my whole life of like reading and like absorbing <laughs> all this stuff that like i would ever see Goku. like yeah like cheer against him like, yeah <laughs> that's the best yo that's the best way to put it like i saw that panel i was like oh damn that, that's cool i'm cool with that mm-hmm. like <laughs> damn 100 <laughs> percent. oh my god well uh, that's uh i mean is there anything else you want to add no nah, i think we got it all out there all right boys and girls well definitely uh Join up on the Discord. I'll say that to start. Join the Discord. Be part of the Uchi gang. Uh, if you want to talk more about exactly uh, what went down in this chapter, any thoughts that we had that you possibly wanted to maybe talk about a little bit further, uh, definitely join the Uchi gang Discord. The link is in the description. If there's any other things that you want us to discuss as Something far as... Something you thought we missed right yeah something we missed then let us know um in the comments and uh or in the discord or on twitter just make sure you add us use the hashtag full power podcast or ask fpp um i mean you know what's crazy the show went on so long we didn't even acknowledge the comments but i'm like i'm like skimming through the comments from last episode and I, it's like I'm almost I almost feel like reading through these are almost pointless like no offense to the no offense to the fans but like after everything we talked about you know what I'm saying like it's almost like this stuff 
it sucks. Maybe maybe we should do that at the beginning of the show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can do that. Yeah. But all in all, I mean, read just like I said, skimming through some of these comments from the last last uh, last episode. Uh, we got some praise. People are enjoying it, which is a good thing. So that's good. I mean, I, I'm glad that there's some vocal people out there that are letting at least letting us know that they they uh, they are enjoying the full power podcast. So that's a good thing. So, um, yeah, just uh, of course, guys, let us know any any changes that you guys might want to see. Uh, for the future, um, yeah, I that's pretty that's pretty much it. You like, share, subscribe, of course. Like I said, hit us on the Twitter, join the Discord, follow me on Twitch. Um, yeah, episode or I should say chapter sixty three comes out August twentieth, and I'm gonna check the calendar real quick just to see. That is a Thursday, so. Um, usual time for the release on these episodes is Friday. That's how it's been, but it's been changing just because of the, you know, just because of the fact that we've been doing these chapter reviews, but we'll try to, we'll try to be back on in between the next chapter with some just other Dragon Ball related topics, possibly. So anyways, guys, make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay inside. We'll see y'all next time.